Hey everybody, welcome back to round two of the Water Comparison video series. So in round one, I did a more detailed review of each of these waters and did a more detailed taste test. In round two, I'm just going to do a very quick review and comparison of these waters. You know, if you want more information about them, go back to round one. But um, I'm going to decide which one of these five waters tastes the best. So we have these three Niagara bottles of water. These That's what these three have in common. First up is Carnival that I got on my cruise down to the Bahamas and Amber Bay and Grand Turk from the Carnival Cruise Line. This is from Niagara, but it's Carnival brand. Next up is Circle K water. Circle K is like a gas station convenience store. This is also, it's Circle K brand, but it's bottled by Niagara. And next up is Food Club. This is from the store Community Market. This is also a Niagara bottle of water. And the thing, the difference is this is spring water. These two are purified Niagara waters. Okay, next up is Hello Water Love Flavor with uh, cucumber lime. And the final water is tap water from a Brita filter. And this beat out a different filter in round one. I got a fresh glass. So this is going to be really quick. I'm just going to do, you know, taste test. So here we go. Start off with Carnival. And I should make a correction. Uh, when I first reviewed this, I was on the ship and I told you guys that they only had huge bottles of water. Later on during the cruise, I found out that they do sell these individual regular size bottles. So that's just a correction. So here we go. All right. It's pretty standard Niagara water. Slight plasticky taste. Um, I, I was thinking, like, I, I was traveling with this water for a long time, and it was like, you know, on an airplane with different temperatures and stuff, I had to fly all the way back from uh, Florida to Pittsburgh, and I was thinking that might affect the taste, but it really tastes basically the same as round one. All right, next up, Circle K Purified Water. Yeah, very similar taste, almost like a, maybe a sweeter taste, like a, maybe like a slight like fruit flavor to it, which is kind of weird. Next up is the Flute Food Club Spring Water. So I've had about three or three or four of these uh, so far. It was in a case of twenty-four, and so far I did not like the ones I've had, and. In the first round, I was questioning, like, if these are all from Niagara, why would this one taste worse and taste different? I think it might be because it's a spring water. And I guess that means it's from a different source. And, you know, these say purified, so maybe it's like a different purification process. It says it's bottled by Niagara. And, um, yeah, I guess... Maybe it's a different purification. So here we go. Let's do a taste test. Yeah. This is my fifth food club water. I gotta be honest. I have to give this a thumbs down. This just does not taste good at all. dirty like an animal peed into it if it's from a spring I mean maybe that's why so I'm gonna already just I'm gonna eliminate this right away because out of those three that's the worst so far um, here is the 
love water with cucumber lime. I can smell a little bit of cucumber. And uh, it's got a very sugary taste to it. And, you know, it, it smells like cucumber, but it tastes like lime. And I'm going to eliminate this one also right away. Because this is not really a water. <laughs> this has 10 calories. It has added flavors. It has added, like, other ingredients. I think it's, like, a cool, like brand i think hello water is just a cool name it's a cool bottle it's a cool design it's all good and i guess 10 calories is better than like maybe 150 that might be in a, in a soda or, or 100 that might be in a soda but 10 is still more than zero so i'm just going to eliminate this because it's not as much of a water as the other ones so we're down to three Here's the Brita water. Tastes a little bit like uh, <laughs> like lime, but I think that's just because I contaminated my mouth with this one. So there might be a little bit of aftertaste just from that. But I gotta be honest, this Brita water is really good. I've been having, you know, I've had this for over a thousand bottles, over a thousand drinks, you know. I've been having a lot of this Brita water, because it is really good. Pittsburgh tap water is not that great, but um, the Brita just does a great job of filtering it. Um, I, I thought maybe after a couple hundred I might just switch back to tap water, but it legitimately does taste better than tap water. So here we go, let's uh, finish this up. Okay, I'm gonna eliminate the carnival one. There's just more of like a plasticky taste to it. So. Carnival is out. It's kind of close between these two. This one has kind of like a berry flavor to it. But out of the two, I'm just going to call it, out of these two, the winner is the Brita. It could very well just be because I'm used to it because I've been having so much of it lately. Maybe I'm biased because I'm used I'm used to it. But I think this tastes very good. Let me finish it up. Congratulations, Britta. You moving on to the next, next round? This is kind of a weird water to review because... You know, with the Brita, it might actually taste different depending on the source of your water. If you filter, like, Los Angeles water or Detroit water or Texas water, you know, the final result might be different depending on where your original source is. It, I mean, it's supposed to filter stuff out, but it still might taste different. So, um, you know, I, I've grown up with Pittsburgh water. When I was a kid, 90% of the time I had just tap water. So I could just be biased, um, like I said, because I'm so used to it. But anyway, Britta is moving on to the next round. So thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.